Hello and welcome to another installment of Reynolds Product Review. My name is Brett. I'm the videographer at Reynolds Jewelry Imports. I'm here today to present a Markland Dream layout. In Agne Hoffmann, Bavaria, just before the Austrian border near Salzburg, Hans-Peter Porsche, an avid collector of toys, has decided to build a 25,000 square foot museum to house his amazing toy collection. Hans-Peter Porsche is the grandson of Ferdinand Porsche, the founder of the Porsche Automobile Company. His museum will open in June of 2015 and he will call it DreamWorks. This museum will feature an extensive collection of model trains, tin toys, stuffed animals, cars, planes, and boat models. This museum will also feature one of the largest Markland layouts in Germany. This fantastic new layout took over two years to build. We hope you enjoy our video on the construction of this most impressive Markland model train layout. There are certainly a lot of digital Märklin layouts out there, but the team of Brima layout builders located in Gau Algesheim has been working on a very special project. First of all, the size of the layout is quite remarkable. But this layout is also the result of a lot of meticulous planning, carried out by the boss himself. Uwe Brillmeier has been successfully running his firm since 1993. His daily work has to meet a lot of requirements. The first step is coming up with a good concept. The design has to match the client's spatial relations. Then we will carry out a first draft on paper, including a 3D model, which is meant to show the dimensions of the layout and the track plan. As soon as the client has agreed to the design which is subject to change any time during the entire process, we will discuss all 46 of the possible completion levels. This means the client is free to choose whether he only needs us to build the basic frame or the finished layout. The latter will include programming and setting up the layout in the customer location. Once completed, this gigantic layout for the Hans-Peter Porsche Dream Factory will be depicting all sorts of different regions. On the one hand, we'll have scenes from Austria, such as the lines along the Tauern, the Semmering and the Arlberg Railway. On the other hand, we have depicted Switzerland as well, that is, the northern and southern part of the Gotthard Railway. The third main element will be the area around Lake Constance, including scenes set in Bavaria. Ensuring the appropriate power supply for this kind of layout is another challenge. A proper wiring job is crucial as well. The wires are run through ring bolts which will make accessing them much easier. Every layout builder knows that quality work on the wiring will save a lot of trouble and headaches later on when it comes to locating and fixing faulty connections. Uwe Brillmeier has designed all these layouts in the course of his career. I have been responsible for planning all the layouts that have been created here. During the last 21 years, I have carried out more than 580 designs. In the future, I will stick to this task exclusively, since I want the layouts to carry my thumbprint. This is what sets us apart from other builders, and it's this very know-how that represents our whole firm. Of course, each of the jobs takes some time, and we even have a waiting list. But then we also have an ace up our sleeve. Our son has recently joined the firm. If he keeps doing well and turns out to have the same skills as I have, we'll soon have the two of us working on the layouts together. Meanwhile, the young man has ample time to gain experience in layout construction. Practical knowledge will certainly help a lot with his later design work. The proper choice of plaster is very important. We will want to have a sort of plaster that will make further finishing possible. For example, when it comes to modeling the rocky surfaces, this plaster here can be shaped for quite a long time after it has been applied, until tomorrow at any rate. Moreover, it is important to apply a layer of plaster that is thick enough so that you won't break through while forming the surface with the scraper. Then it is also important to apply the plaster in a way that it already resembles the desired form before further shaping. Björn Brillmeier has become very skilled with this particular technique. What are his favorite tasks? 
Applying the plaster is definitely one of them, because it will give you immediate results. At this point, we have already come a long way from screen to rock surfaces, and this surely is a nice thing to look at. It has been a great hobby so far. Turning it into a profession would certainly be a dream of mine. If the same is also true for her, well, this young layout builder wouldn't tell us. At any rate, she is tending to her work with great care. Now it comes to installing the roof on the roundhouse. When designing the layout, it was important to keep in mind that all the visitors at the museum should have a good view of the layout at the same time. A clear advantage is that the layout will be exhibited in one piece, as there are no pillars or walls in the way. When it comes to the matter of transportation, we had to make sure that the modules are not too big to be loaded on trucks. For this reason, we also limited the ground area to 9 square meters. An overall number of 15 trucks will be needed for calling the layout to Anger, where it will be reassembled just like a puzzle. This is why the layout was created using several dividable modules. A layer of plastic foil will prevent the separate parts from sticking together. As their own workshop could not accommodate the gigantic layout project, a second hall was rented for the purpose. This piece of the layout evolves from a design depicting several lines of the Ration Railway with the famous Landwasser viaduct as its centerpiece. Once completed, the construction will cover an area of 400 square meters and three kilometers of track will have been laid. The layout will mostly consist of Märklin K-tracks, except for the area depicting the Ration Railway. Many techniques applied by the Brima team are used by amateur layout builders as well although this layout here requires them on a much larger scale. In the end, the question will be how many trees fit on the layout. Most of the trees were made by the Noch company. Some weeks from now, the last layout modules will be sent out on their journey to Anger, near Bad Reichenhall in Bavaria. This is where Hans-Peter Porsche has selected for his dream factory to be placed. And this is also where he is going to exhibit classic tin toys from his extensive collection, along with many other things. The dream factory is going to be opened in early 2015. And, of course, Märklin TV is going to keep you informed about this project. Thank you for watching our video on the Markland Dream layout. Here at Reynolds, we are proud to be one of the largest premier Markland dealers in North America. We support the entire Markland product line and have many older and vintage models available. We offer a broad selection of products separating us from our North American competitors. Model trains and accessories from nearly 60 manufacturers are imported directly to us and more brands are added every year. Please visit our website Reynolds.com or if you are ever in the Chicagoland area, come to our wonderful store to see all the amazing things we have to offer.